Happy Monday. I didn't really vlog this weekend. Um, we're getting ready to go to Costco. See how crazy it is there. Saturday we went to Meyer, and it wasn't as bad at Meyer as I thought it was going to be. Um, so yesterday, yesterday our mutter came in the morning. The guy who's mudding in our living room for a couple hours. He had a little block of time from like eight to ten, um, because some of the stuff needs layers, especially up in the corners. So he's like, it's a it's a process. Uh, and I noticed, I felt my very back molar. You know how some of your teeth have the seams in the back? Well, this one, the seam had shifted, so it was now a crack. <laughs> I'm like, oh no. And then afternoon, the crack became a gaping hole because it, like a third of my tooth fell out. <laughs> I got the chunk over there. And so... First thing this morning, 8 o'clock, I called the dentist, and I can get in tomorrow morning at 8. So, tomorrow I'm going to start the day very pleasant at the dentist. And there is no pain, which is good. That means no nerves exposed or anything. But your tongue just wants that, uh, 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 all the time. I'm trying to chew on this side. So, um, I found myself last night I was eating, I was like tilting my head. <laughs> I'm like, you're a dork. So, yeah. I'm playing with it right now. I can't help it. My tongue's like, something strange is in here. Just like when the one up here broke two years ago. Uh, even after it was fixed, because it has a slightly different finish than the regular tooth, my tongue was obsessed with messing with it. But now it doesn't anymore. It's just like, eh, it is what it is. I got to go mail a couple packages today. I'm getting my gift exchange in the mail. I got it all buttoned up, all sealed. And I got a bunch of like invoices to put in the mail and some bills I paid and a deposit to make. And then we'll go to Casco. Dad's outside waiting. I had to just run payroll. I haven't written anything out, but I ran it through my system. And uh, cause we gotta take payroll shop tomorrow cause everybody gets paid a day early because of Thanksgiving. And then we all, I, go, I got them, all of our employees, like a $50 um, Meyer gift card for them to go get anything they need for Thanksgiving. It's like a, th a Thanksgiving perk. <clears throat> so I got all those to put in there too. And, uh, so yeah, but let's get going. I got to put on my thermal cause I'm not wearing a coat today cause it's supposed to be like 50. So I'm just going to wear my thermal shirt over my regular shirt. Call it good. And then I got to grab all this crap over here. So <gasps> bye nice out. It's already in the 40s. It's supposed to go up to 50 today. I decided on my navy blue thermal today. I sat there and I'm like, cream colored one, navy blue one. Cream colored one, navy blue one. And I'm like, I'll go navy blue. It still smells like sage though. I had I had worn it once over my shirt for the funeral because I didn't want to deal with a coat that day. And, it's, and it smells like sage from the from the Native American ceremony. Um... I came here to say something, y'all, and I can't think of what the hell else I'm saying. Oh, I do have a song stuck in my mind. I have Lizzo's Good As Hell stuck in my head. I feel good as hell. Flip your head back. You know, that song. It's just in my, it's in my head. But I'm sitting outside the post office. Dad's going to mail a couple packages and check the box. And then we're going to stop at the bank so I can make a deposit, which is up in my visor. And then head to Costco. Woo-hoo! We'll probably get a pumpkin pie because we usually get one there every year. But we will see. I should call my aunt and see if she needs us to get, near, get her anything since we can't cook anything. If there's something in particular like rolls or a pie. or I think I'm going to do that real quick. All right, bye. We made it into Costco. Look, is there anybody in this aisle? Oh, there's people everywhere. It is crazy. Let's look at the booze. What the hell cost a hundred? Okay, let's go down this booze aisle. Not a really a big booze drinker. Dad called me, which bumped me off. So I just left him. He's like, "Are you gonna call your aunt again?" I'm like, "No." I called her, left her a message. I'm not gonna call her again. <laughs> booze, booze, booze. Okay, I'm gonna go in my favorite area, the produce area, which is right next to the booze, ironically. It's right 
Okay, now they had mattresses here. Maybe I just never noticed. Here is the produce. Good golly, this pomegranate is ginormous. Look at this pomegranate. This thing's huge. We got big pomegranates. We got grapes. And I'm gonna go in here and look for pears in the fresh produce room over there. So we don't need apples. Uh, or bananas. Okay, we're going in. Last time I was here, it was right around the corner. There's the pie. You get pumpkin pie. I've never seen it where you get whole peaches in a jar. Alright, we're going down this way. People everywhere. Let's see what this fine young man has. Good golly, was it crazy inside of Casco. But we got in, chopped a little bit, got out. Alive. Dad's put the scooter on. We're going to go over here to Metro Diner and have a bite to eat for lunch. Lenner, because it's like almost two. <clears throat> I got me some spinach, artichoke dip, and some multi-grain crackers. Dad wanted Ritz crackers, so he got Ritz crackers. And um, just some stuff like that. The Because every year they do those big giant pumpkin pies for $5.99, and we always get one every year. We just bought one. Man, those people were getting those left and right. This one lady had like eight of them in her cart. And they're huge, and they're very good, because we've... I probably got them for the last four or five years, maybe. They have them stacked like cordwood and they're everywhere. But sun's shining in my ball. Squinty, gotta go. We're at the Metro right Diner, and I they think I'm gonna right get the, the hash. What are you gonna get? Well, I don't know. I'm, I think I'm gonna get the pot pie, but they got a regular for $9.49 and a large for $10.99. So. He doesn't know what he's gonna get. Get the regular. I'll get the regular and uh got water. I'll we'll show you when it comes. Of course Dad had to get a bloody Mary. I'm just sticking with my water. That's all I need. He's making a mess all over. But we'll show you when our dinner comes. I got hash and poached eggs and fruit and dad got a pot pie. Hot pie. And a what? What else did you just order? Bloody Mary. Another Bloody Mary. Now we're going to eat. How much? Okay. I had to bring my Mophie in here and charge my phone because my phone was almost dead. And I actually remembered to bring it out here tonight. I'm getting ready to have... My dad just left to go to Monday Night Football with his guy friends. And I'm having me some multi-grain crackers with some... Um... Oh. Spinach artichoke dip. I got it. Um... Costco. And then my box of crackers is right there and dad got his box of Ritz. There's my bag of pears. I don't know what that is. Um, then I, the other day at the store I got me some yogurts. I got a yogurt in here too. One of the samples today at Costco was Gogurts, the little tube things. I got one even though they are for kids. He goes, they're good. I'm like, yes, they are. But I just bought some yogurt. But what else did they have? They had samples of the spinach dip, but I was going to get some anyway. Um, they had some guy had popcorn, which I did not get because I did not want to deal with that in my no tooth area. Oh, I can remember to set my alarm clock to be up at seven so I can wake up and then get on the road to be to the dentist by eight. And what else is happening? <laughs> the rapid blink. Not much, really. My dad today, he went, today would have been a good day for him to side the house. I'm like, Dad, you know he's away on vacation. They just took a long weekend. They're not going to be home until tomorrow night. He goes, I know, but I was just thinking, because it was beautiful out today. Down in South Bend, it was like 55 and sunny. and Tomorrow's supposed to be still 50, but rain. And then Wednesday is the day I think he is coming over. And that's supposed to be really windy that day. But we shall see. Because they were just talking about all the weather in some places. Like over by Denver and stuff is going to get dumped on. And might uh, put a hindrance to some people's Thanksgiving Day travel. I never did hear back from my aunt. Maybe she doesn't need anything. 
because I would have picked up like some Hawaiian rolls or a pie or something. Okay, I'm getting ready to catch up on This Is Us. I have three episodes to watch. I have like five of The Walking Dead. I, I'm kind of behind on many things and I've kept up on things because I haven't watched a whole lot of TV lately. Because <clears throat> I usually watch when dad goes, but like last Monday he didn't have Monday Night Football. And, um, but next week, wait, hold, well, we will, Okay, I just had a brain fart. I was trying to, I'm trying to think of when, he, when he'll be gone again. Friday night for cards. That'll be the next night I can watch stuff. Because Dad and I have totally different viewing preferences. <laughs> totally different. <laughs> Although we do watch, like, American Idol together and some of those. He totally makes fun of my survivor. He'll say, you can come out here and watch some stuff and read the paper. I'm like, nope. No. Because <laughs> I don't want to hear your comments on some of the things I watch. All right. This episode was on Tuesday of voting because I have all the ticker tape on the bottom of this person has this many votes and this person has this many votes. David Dougherty and Charles Muma and Brett Wendell and Julia Somebody. The ladies winning. I don't know. Oh, I did uh, talk to my cousin Jana on Facebook a little bit, and they're going to take my dad with them to go to my cousin's Navy graduation, which is in January from boot camp. Dad is excited. He's doubly excited that he can ride along with them because he hates driving through Chicago. That just, it really, it, he doesn't like it. So he's going to go with them. And uh, so he's excited about that. He's curious to see how, how it's changed because he hasn't been to Great Lakes since since he was there. So uh, it'll probably be nostalgic for him to see it. That is for sure. But now I'm going to get all these clips together and watch This Is Us. More than likely cry because usually every episode makes me cry at some point or another. Dang it. Okay. Goodbye.